and you're the first person that give us something you're too. Really so say it primero. <laughs> hey, hey look at this. yeah, man, that's Fresh. lit as shit, bro. And those are some badass shorts. Yeah, yeah, Bobby. Welcome back to another episode of And Still. Thank you all for viewing, liking, commenting, and subscribing. If you haven't yet, please subscribe. Click that red button. The best is yet to come. I'm your host, Andrew Garcia, joined by the co host, Nelson Garcia. And today we have a special guest, a personal Champ, friend baby. in the house. He is one of the best talents in the super featherweight division. He's a 13 time national champion carrying Colombia and Puerto Rico on his back. He had one of the most sensational pro debuts boxing has ever seen. He's now on his way to a world title shot with a professional record of 17 and 2 with 13 big knockouts. Luis Melendez, baby. What's up, baby? How you doing? Tranquilo. Gracias yeah. por tenerme aquí, verdad? Now, you don't gotta thank like, me, bro. What's up, man? Estamos aquí activos. Yeah. Para, 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 para romper y ya tú sabes hablar. Yeah, that's what's up, man. That's what's up, bro. Let me ask you, how's training going, bro? Good, bro. Like, every day, you know, you get better. Every day, you, you got to push yourself. Yo no estoy como que en camp todavía. I'm not in camp. Like, I'm just training every day, maintaining myself, esperando que me den, me entienden, una fecha fijo, bro. Like an opportunity. Tal... Yeah. When you think that opportunity is coming? Estoy estoy guanteando, ¿me entiendes? Como han visto que he guanteado con Ali, lo, lo ayudé para esta pelea que tiene. So, hicimos like 8, 10 rounds, 6 rounds. With, with Michelle Ali? Yeah. How's that sparring going? Uh, good as sparring. Yeah. He's a good fighter. Yeah, he's a good fighter. Good good job. To, um, disciplinado, como te digo, ¿me entiendes? Yeah. You have a lot of good work, bro. Yeah. You have a lot of good, 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 good work from your gym and from other gyms. So mm -hmm. how how do you think that's that's helped you in the in your fights? A lot, especially. I spoke with everybody in Miami, like everybody, since how, since I came here when I started with. Yeah, no, you're a phenom yeah, in the like South Florida. To fin, one of my biggest sparring was to fin, I did like three sparring with him when I was with Amari. I did a lot of sparring. My high, all, of, all of them. All I the think, Cubans, <laughs> all, all of them. I think you love sparring more than you like like actually being and fighting. Like, you love sparring, bro. Like, you can spar every day if, if you wanted to, for sure. Like, See, if, you're, if they would allow you... Again. No, I got it, bro. You're sparring. You love sparring. Like, that's, bro, that's bro, good, he li though. He likes to fight, period. Whether it's yeah, a sparring like or in the fight. fight, he just yeah. likes to fight. And, that, and that's probably why he's a little bit too much of into the fight. You know what I mean? Instead of using your abilities on the outside in boxing, because I know that you have... More abilities than most of these fighters. Well, no, he likes to fight so much that in 2021, last year, you had eight fights that year. Yeah. But let's talk yeah. about that. How was that? Eight fights Bro, in one you know, year? That's You that's know, badass. Corona came and it, it, like, <laughs> paused me for, like, a year or something. So right. I had to, like, maintain, you know, try to keep maintaining, and, you know, there. How was, that, and stuff. how was that experience, though, fighting eight times in one year? Like... Yeah, because it, it was, it was just to rack up the wins. I knew I was going to win. I, I knew I wasn't fighting, you know, top level like that. Right. It was overseas. Stay active. So. Stay, active. stay active, you know, stay sharp. sharp. So that's hey, man, good. I want to I want to jump in on something that I didn't know this. I just found out yesterday. No, I, I I mean, yeah, I found out yesterday the fact of it, bro. I didn't know that your your mom was Colombian. Yeah. How's that story, though? How did your dad and your mom get together being Puerto Rican I, and I Colombian? I don't know. Them. <laughs> my, my dad came from PR... To Miami, and that's... Oh, because your mom was here in Miami? Yes. This was before you were born. Yes. That's dope, though. What, what part of Colombia? Medellin. Oof. That guy got the sauce, bro. Got the sauce. <laughs> got the and how about from Puerto Rico? You're from... Uh, Miami. Yeah. Damn, that's... that's like calentón ahí. Ahí sí hay calentón. Oh. Just like Medellin. Entonces tú vienes de una, fami una familia bien calentona. Sí, man. Ocho, una familia con una sangre que nadie Sangre no caliente. Ocho, una sangre... Hmm. Maybe that's what you get. Un poco, uh, oye, un poco agresivo. Ocho, demasiado yeah, agresivo. <laughs> demasiado agresivo. Demasiado agresivo. Bueno, your little brother now, he's fighting now too, right? Yeah. How do you feel about that? How do you like that? I'm happy. It's you know, running I, in the family. I, so he's doing He's doing his thing. Him, you feel me? He's I going to the tournament. I got him out of them little PlayStation, all that shit. <laughs> no, no PlayStation. He's no going nothing. to the tournaments and he's wiping them out. See, let's he, talk is about. He, is he already fighting open or not yet? Not yet. But like he, two more the, fights. In the novice division, he's taking everybody out. Yeah. He looks like he's in the opens though. The way he's fighting, yeah, yeah, he's yeah, cocky. Yeah, yeah. This is Southpaw, right? Yeah, Southpaw. Let's talk about your family history with boxing. Who was like the one um, that introduced you to boxing in the family? So was the Puerto Rican side or the Colombian mi side? Mi abuelo, mi papá, el papá de mi papá. The Puerto Rican side. Sí, él entrenaba con Carlos Ortiz. Mi tío, que dio unido, fue que. Él entrenaba, él guanteaba con él era la chata de Tito Trinidad, ¿me entiendes? Él guanteaba, él fue campeón nacional de peso completo. Y mi familia, 
pues, familia de pelea. Y entonces, all right, I'm going to get into it. Like, yo cuando vine para acá, estudié a Chamaquito, de right. Puerto Rico me trajeron para acá. Yo, yo estaba en Caribbean, yo estudiaba. Y yo, me hacía un bullying brutal, ¿me entiendes? Los negritos y todo, todas las pendejas. <risa> Mira, y, blanquito, este, vamos a joderlo. Tacho, hasta las muchachitas me hacían bullying a mí. Oh, <laughs> oh okay, yeah, bro. So, But things like, have changed now. No, no, nada. Nah, me nah, metieron nah, al nah. gym con mi tío. Me, empecé aquí en Florida y ya. You were like, what, six years old, more or less? Six, seven. Bro, I yeah, know yeah, six. You, were, you were a 13 time national champion. Yeah, but that was. In Puerto Rico. That was después, cuando ya, when I went to Puerto Rico. You had over 100 amateur fights and stuff. Yeah. What, what were some of the big names that you fought in the amateurs that you can tell me now that like you fought in the amateurs that you remember or you don't really remember? No me acuerdo. Bueno, you had 13. So how many fights in total did you have in the amateurs? Like 126, what I... What about experience sí, you got, sí. bro? Yeah. No, no nada más ya. Aquí también yo pegué aquí. Yo gané Golden Gloves aquí. Yeah, no. You won the Golden Gloves here. Yeah. I, didn't, I didn't win the Nationals, but I won the State. What yeah. the of the boxeo puertorriqueño allá comparado aquí, in the States? Es que cuando yo estaba allá en Puerto Rico, como, aquí en este es más competitivo, es más difícil. Y, y es que cuando yo estaba en Puerto Rico, yo peleaba por punto, como que computadora. No era el right, sistema right. de 18, 19, ni nada de eso. Eso era bien diferente. Allá en Puerto Rico yo ganaba como que más en bo boceando y punto y pa. pa I, feel like daddy que state, no I feel like in the state level it's not that competitive. It's once you go to nationals and stuff that it gets very competitive. Y en Puerto Rico es bien competitivo. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I fought in Puerto Rico. Yo estaba un poco adelantado también de mi edad y todo. Yo a todo el mundo de mi edad <laughs> y mi peso. Yo, chacho, yo, estaba, level. yo era bien, yo era más, más adelantado que todos ellos. So. The, was your dream like to go to the Olympics? To Olympics. Was that one of your dreams? Yeah, yeah. And what happened there? What happened that it didn't happen? They changed the age. They went 19 over and then no headgear. So it's como que... It was no point. No point. That's going to kill boxing, amateur boxing, man. You're getting hit in the face for free with no headgear. And then the Your system is 10-9. It, it's like pro. Yeah, pretty much. So if it wasn't for that, you were for sure going to like go through for a uh, full throttle to go to the Olympics. Sí, sí, claro, sure. claro. You would have wanted to join the Puerto Rican team or this, the no, United no, States? No, no, Puerto Rican. Puerto Rican? I'm on the Puerto Rican team. Yeah, but when I've been lit, but things happen. I mean, when I fought, look, bro, let me tell you something. I, you don't know about this. When I, I fall in the Wilfredo Copa and Wilfredo Gomez Copa mm -hmm. over there in Puerto Rico. No, you had no headgear. Yeah, no, yeah, it You're was already no headgear. Fighting. Uh, but w the, the moral of the story is when I was there, um, he was like the the top guy. Like he was like the 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 the, the top guy of the federation of Puerto Rican boxing. Our, my coach Ramiro and I and him we were like we went out to eat and stuff after we had all five. And uh, he was like he was like, hey bro let me ask you a question. Eh, Luis Melendez, ta ya, bro. Ese tipo va a ser un monstruo en This is in 2016, bro. And I was like yeah yeah I know him from from Miami. So he's like bro, keep an eye on that guy, bro. That guy's gonna be a, a champion 100. I can't remember that guy's name. But I know if I said his name, you would know who he is. Yeah. He's like an older guy, but bro, <laughs> he already knew that you was going to be a big time. Yeah. And I knew it too. Yo también, desde que tengo 16 años, ya yo sabía que iba a ser. You already know. You already know. I since already you were knew. 16, you already know yeah. what was coming. Because, bro, imagine, I was in Puerto Rico. I didn't lose for like two years and a half. I lost when I went to to the, um, to the world, to the junior, International. junior International. world champion in Ukraine. That's when I lost. And I still, I beat China. And I lost to Kazakhstan. Like Split decision, yeah, bro. Yeah, Kazakhstan. And I went over there. I was like 14, 15, because I was junior. 14, 15, or 15, 16, or something like that. And I went, bro, because I was like happy. Like, I didn't win with this. It's not the same mentality. Like, I'm going to go win, dog. Like, no, it was just like, I'm going to represent. I'm going to go to the house. So, like, I look at the world. I'm going to go to the house. I'm going to go to the house. Yeah. Killing myself to do 110 pounds. Yeah, I, no, yo era sure. flaquito, pero yo era alto. Siempre fui un poco alto. Yeah, yeah, no, yeah. And yeah. in, in your fight with Thomas Matisse, Javante Davis, man, was shouting you out and praising you for the good sparring you gave him, man. How was that sparring with, with Tank? How was that experience? That yeah, shit was tough. It's tough and like, bro, I don't... That's, that sparring is like, you got to pay to watch. That's top, it's top level. It's very technical and very like explosive. IQ level. You were bigger than him, right? Yeah, I'm a little, little taller. Looks, yeah, taller I'm him. a little taller than him. Yeah, pretty taller than him. How was that? Like, how did that get you know played? They called you for that yeah, they, help. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then from there, I just kept sparring him for like two Six. weeks and a half. Nice. So you were getting so him we ready. Did, like, I was getting him ready for, for Roly. Yeah, Roly. So they liked the sparring. His coach was like, you know, happy with me and everything. Like. You know, they just kept calling me. No, they That's were good. they were extremely happy because Tank don't really be shouting people out like that. And he that, doesn't, yeah. yeah. And the yeah. press conference, he did, he did that. So. He did that for you, so. 
Yeah, I, I feel like good. I definitely like gained him some respect there. Definitely because what you say coach t- even told me like right. bro, people quit, like people don't do what you do, like you really got it. Yeah, but you got skills, man. You got I got a lot of skills and like I'm a, I'm a dog in there too. Like I'm a shot. Like he's a dog and I'm a dog too. Like if I like if I get into detail, like you know, it will get heated and everything. He will like ah, it's, you know, you know me too. And like like in in the breaks, the one minute break, you know, there's no go get no water. No, it's me and him like this <laughs> talking right shit. Boom, and he just there alone. I'm just there with him. Like there's no like I'm no intimidation. Like I'm not yeah, intimidated. Of, like nothing. Like. You feel me? Like there's nothing I can intimidate. Nah, me. like we said, you're a shark in the water. And man. when I and when I I left, I finished that sparring. That's it, bro. I, 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 I you feel me? That's it. That's all I needed. Now nah, you you already know that you're on that level yeah, with I'm the best. Yeah, I'm on that level because like, Tank I, is a plus. So yes. you already know that you're on that so level. So every too. sparring, I was even better. And when the first sparring we were supposed to do like what ten rounds, and he didn't let me get out. He's like, no. nah, you ain't getting out. No, nah, I'm all right. So that's good. So he's pushing you too. We did fifteen. Oh, damn. That shit was crazy. That, that's throwback stuff, bro. That's that's throw that's Warrior throwback shit. stuff. That's like back in the day stuff going 15 rounds, man. Yeah. And you gotta have the the win and the balls for the two, man. You, oh, the stamina he will, he will and the kill balls. you, bro. If you don't have what if you don't have Yeah, if you can't hang, if you, you didn't hang, if you can't hang, you won't hang. Like, bro, mm-hmm. he will destroy you. Mentally, <inaudible> mentally and freaking physically. There's so many things, man. He like you like yourself. He's a shark. You know, not only that, yeah. he's a southpaw. He hits hard. Yeah. He's tricky. So the fact that and you can go fast, the fact that you can go toe to toe with that just just mm-hmm. means where you're at. You know, yeah. and, and and the only unfortunately the boxing world, the, the 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 general fans haven't really seen that yet. No, but they will. Yeah, yo estoy tranquilo. It's coming. There's big news coming. You're, you're 24, right? Sí, 24. Yeah, you're not even 25 yet. Todavía estoy joven, como que entiendo. Yeah, you're still young. You're 24. So let's talk about it. How did you get to... You were in Puerto Rico. That's where you started your career. Uh-huh. What made that switch for you to come to the States? Okay. Because you were doing so good in PR. So sí, why, why did you me, come? Me, me, con, me fui de allá. De, me entiende, enamorado y cosas así. Y mi, mi papá y mi mamá estaban ya viviendo acá, mi hermanito. Y como que... Oh, so you're... Me dejé llevar por, ese, por esa emoción. Entonces tu familia ya estaba viviendo aquí. Sí. Y tú, tú, tú estabas allá solo. Sí, yo estaba allá con mi abuelo. Mm-hmm. Con mi otro país, mi papá y mi, 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 mi abuela, ¿no? ¿entiendes? Yo estaba viendo con ellos, yo estaba en el national team, so why was I going to be in, in Miami? And I was studying too in the school. Right, right. ¿Entiendes? But that was probably one of like, the best decisions I mean, ever made. Sí, claro, so. claro, porque tengo mucha oportunidad. Like, y yeah, yo llegué a Miami y yo entrené con... Mi primero que yo entrené que con Jorge Rubio, no, Jorge no, Rubio. George. Después a Maori, después a me, like... Yo tuve all the, the chamaquito porque yo, yo iba a Puerto Rico y venía para acá en vacation. Then I would go back to school, vacation, go back. So while I was in vacation, I was how to train. Well, oh, go ahead. I, I know that your, 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 your team right now is the team that I grew up with too, KO Fitness. So we're going to leave them out of it. But how, how was um the training with Jorge Rubio and Maori and stuff like what, what, what? Era bien diferente para mí. Era bien mucha cubana. Cubano, o sea, el truco cubano y, yeah, yeah. y yo aprendí mucho de esos trucos, ¿me entiendes? Yo cuando terminé, yo fui, o sea, cuando yo, yo entrené con Jorge Rubio, it was before going to the World Champions. So yo, me, yo hice el equipo, vine para acá de vacations, durante yo estaba en vacation training, yo estaba esperando a que me dijeran, mira, tú vas para pa el mundial. So I was training with Jorge Rubio y él me preparó. So it was a lot, it was very, era bien diferente el entrenamiento, era más intenso, más fuerte. ¿Me entiendes? Para mí. Porque yo entraba en Las Vegas y no era como que tan fuerte como cuando yo entrené con Jorge Rubio. Igual como con Amari. Yeah. But you were with Amari for a while. For yeah, a for time. a while. Mm-hmm. Ahí yo estaba, like, yeah, I was there for a What while. What did you learn from Amari? A lot of tricks. I don't, just a, a lot of tricks. Ma- Amari's a good trainer. He's very underrated, but he's really good. Yeah, that's, that's all. Really y, y, en, y más la condición. A lot of outside boxing and stuff like that. Yeah. La he's condición física, ¿me entiendes? Como que era bien... In and so, so what, what made you pick your, your team right now? What was the difference of, of them and the other trainers that you had? Why did you pick well, Mike and Chino? Yo estaba con Amos. Yo estaba con Abelito. Right. Yo y Abelito, Abel. Shout out to Abel, man. Abel, yeah, he's coming up. Abel. Yeah, that's my boy, man. Abel, you understand? Many of them will avoid. He's a tronk. Yeah, yeah. He, he's like you. He, he's yeah. like you in the sense of shark in the water mm-hmm. and one of the best talents in... In Miami. Not only Florida, man, but one of the best talents no, no, in the I country. Know. He won two Golden Gloves. I know, two nationals. nationals so. I know. Yeah, I go on He's top level. So we were, you know, we were like a little, dog, like a team. But 
Llegó el, el huracán. Irma. Irma. Y como que después de ahí no volví más. Y era porque a lo mejor se molestaban. No sé si se, se molestaban porque yo me iba a guantear para otro lado. Yo no decía nada. Pero es que fue normal. So, no, en verdad, normal. Yo no tengo nada con, contra él. You know? Nunca. Like, I, I never, like, yo nunca me sentía amarrado a él. Yeah, no. So, como que no fue como que nada de falta de respeto ni nada. Simplemente, pues, me dejé llevar por alguien pues, y fui para Health Fitness. Yeah. Y yo quería ir para ahí para prepararme para ir para Las Vegas para ser pro. Mira qué estúpido yo era, like. Yo iba a hacer la, la peor decisión en mi vida. Y they were gonna be like, right, we're gonna train you. And you're gonna go to Las Vegas. Bro, and when I got there, bro, basically yo estaba trash. <laughs> yo, estaba, yo tenía muchas malas mañas, muchas, muchas, muchas cosas malas, like, la técnica, como que lo, lo, básico, lo básico. Todo lo básico mío estaba como que no, no, no lo estaba entrenando bien. It wasn't as sharp. It wasn't like, I wasn't training right. I was doing whatever I wanted, so you won't elevate. So, right. desde ahí yo me di cuenta, ya lo, yo no estoy nada. Y ahí fue, me quedé con ellos. Ahí fue cuando me hicieron, ¿me entiendes? Me, 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 me abrieron los ojos más, lo básico del boxeo. Y, entre, y en, cuando estoy entrenando, entrenar bien, cosas así. The beautiful thing also about training in Koyo <coughs> Fitness is that you have also good fighters oh, around nice. you. You got Aaron Aponte, hey. also a good fighter, you know, and sí, gr sí, growing sí, up with him, ayudado. because you've pretty much grown up with him now. Because yeah, yeah. after I left, you, you were there, you grew up with him. How has that been, you know, going Bobby. and the sparring with that Aaron? I know you be sparring Aaron too. Sí, sí, sí. Which I don't, 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 Yeah, he's he's progressed a lot. Sabe usar la distancia, and, and for him as well, sparring in the likes of you, faster yeah. for sure. A fighter with more experience, more fights. No, no, él aprendió un montón aguantando conmigo. Yeah, of course. Like, the whole gym cada... has really. Yeah, él también aguantó con Joe Bonds y cosas y eso, pero una vez, ¿entiendes? Right. You have a lot of sparring, man. A lot of good partners. Really Since we're on the sparring lot. topic, let me ask you a question. I know that you were sparring. I mean, I mean, South Florida, you sparred the best and you whooped the best. But how was sparring with Chris Colbert? Somebody that's in your weight class. I don't know how to explain. <laughs> nah, you got you to explain. Now that you say you don't know how to explain, like you got to explain. It was competitive. It was, it was very IQ level, like top level IQ. It was very technical. You got to, you know, you try, trying to hit him without me getting hit. Yeah, he's he's doing the same well. thing. He's very fast. He has a, like a fast jab. He's very fast. So I will, I will pick up on a lot of things he was doing and then, like... I would do almost the same thing as to him. Right, it was a chess match. It was a very chess match to me. And then, yeah, I was, I'm was i more aggressive. So, obviously, I would go in and try to get in the more better combination. Ta -ta -bong -bong and, and leave. But he was always, you know, he's a, he's a dog, too. How many rounds did you guys do? What? How many rounds did you guys do? I don't remember. Like, like in a row? Yeah. Like, eight? eight. But you guys we sparred a, a lot of times. Yeah, we sparred, like, five, five oh, so times, six times. Time. Yeah, yeah, we worked a lot. Yeah. I'm gonna give you another name. How was sparring with Hector Garcia? <laughs> <laughs> How was that sparring? I remember, like, when I, I sparred the first time, I was like, it was it was very competitive. He dominated me a little bit more. I feel like it was like a bad day for me. How like, old were you, though? I was like 20. 20. 20, okay. 21. He's 30 like now, so. Um, It was just a bad day for me, you know, because I came the second time and, you know, I really put it, like, it was just not the same. The second time was I I I um I picked it up like didn't know. Yeah, you adapted. I'm adapted eso. The second fight, I mean, I'm sorry. The second sparring session, it, it was a lot more competitive. Huh? The second one, the spe the second sparring session was a lot more competitive. Ni la ni la sentí tan competitiva como la primera. So you Porque como que ya yo sabía lo que lo que venía. So you would say he dominated the first, you dominated the second. Exactly. Right? So you guys are like one one. Yeah. So there has to be a tiger. So <laughs> there has to be the real fight no, then. Como que era no no no. Ah, que se dé la I mean he's no not he's not ducking to dodge nobody. Whoever yeah. they put in his way, he's gonna take. No hablo y ya like mejor que me den la la oportunidad, verdad? Porque yeah, al final sure. ellos 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 son campeones del he's mundo. Champion, Hay un montón que quieren pelear con él. 100. No, you're gonna pay si your dues. Si él me quiere la oportunidad, él sabe que yo no voy a decir que no ni pa ni no ni por la correa ni nada. Es que yo sé que yo puedo ganar. ¿Me entiendes? 100. I mean, yeah. you have to have that. I mean, attitude. you're in the sport because you believe in yourself. If not, then you shouldn't. Yeah, be in the he's sport. the guy. Claro que voy a decir que sí. 
Porque yeah. cuando le gane, entonces, ¿quién va a ser el guy? Yo. Todos van a so, querer pum pum de mí. Yeah, he's world champion so, right al now, final, so. yo tengo que ganar estas peras que, que vienen ahora para que yeah. me den la oportunidad, para que digan, ya, los chamaquitos, ¿entiendes? Ahí me dan la oportunidad. If you can name your next fight, who would you want to fight na- next? I'm assuming a champion because you want to get yeah, that yeah, butt yeah, already. Yeah, yeah. You got Oscar Valdez in that the mix. One. That one? Yeah. That's a good fight, That's a good man. fight. Yeah. I, I, I will fight. But he's not a champion, but he was. He, he was, He's not but, a champion, but, but he has a bigger name than a, everybody at 130. He has yeah, a bigger yeah, yeah, name yeah. than Hector Garcia, and Hector Garcia's a champ. Yeah, of course. So, yeah, but ha- Oscar Valdez has fought Shakur. He's been in high-profile fights. Bro, he knocked out... I've seen uh, Oscar... When I was a kid, I saw him on YouTube. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You understand? Yeah. 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 And I believe he's an Olympian. I believe he's an Olympian. Yeah, from Mexico, yeah. Two times. So, if you were to fight him right now, what would you do? What do you? What are the, <laughs> nah, what are the nah, loopholes? Nah, you can't. You can't disclose I'm that, right? I'm not gonna say what I'm gonna nah, do. But I, all you I know, know is I'm gonna win. I know what he's gonna do. He's, like, he's gonna adapt and win. That's I'm it. gonna adapt and win. Your, it. your boxing IQ, I think, his, his yeah, because it's just my is... boxing boxing IQ. Because I really got that IQ. No, I bro. Just, Having yeah. shoulder like that. Much. I wanna, yeah. I wanna, sp- I wanna go into that later on in this episode once we talk about your fights and stuff. But man, your your talent and your IQ is really high. Yeah, and I'm still getting. I'm getting higher. And it's crazy that you say that. The, the fact that you're, you, you're, you're humble enough to say that you're still learning in the sport. Claro. Because your IQ is so high already. And at 130, it's fucking huge. When he came in, I was like, damn, he's big. At 130? <laughs> dude, yeah, no, no, no. He's, and he's tall for 130. He's, he's like 5'8", five, 5'9". Five, and he's so only he's 24, tall. so he's going to keep growing. 100%. Claro, claro. I wanna, since we're talking about fights you would like to take and stuff, if a fight with Chris Colbert got offered, would you take it? Claro. <laughs> you just, like you just want them all. De una, de una lo cojo. 100%. De una. Do you de think it's realistic, like, right, like, soon? Or, like, do you think that fight doesn't really happen? What do you think? I don't know if he's going to go up. I don't know if it's, he's going to fight. The southpaw that you say he was going to fight. Oh, uh, yeah. Uh, Frank? Um, Frank Martin? Frank Martin. So, I don't know if he's... He's training with Errol Spence and stuff, so he's coming yeah. from a good camp. I was I was on the on the bracket to fight Frank Martin at the ringside. You? Yeah, oh. but I got robbed, nasty robbed. And where in the nationals? Uh, yeah, at the ringside okay, tournament. Okay. Oh, ringside tournament. Yeah, I I fought some dude and I whooped his ass and whatever. You know how it is in the amateurs. And um, Chino was there. Chino was my corner. And uh, yeah, bro. And I but I I wasn't I didn't have the opportunity to fight Frank Martin, but that would have yeah. been cool, man, because that would have been an experience for me. Sal Pa, he was he was already ranked number one in the nation, so well. that would have been dope. No, de verdad, cualquiera que me ofrezca 130, yo lo voy a coger. Y no es por nada, es que yo sé que yo, like, yo sé todo lo que... I know I'll, it's going to bring the best out of me, bro. I know it too, bro. I just got to stay calm and collected. That's, what, that's your thing. Porque muchas veces, yo, you know, I get desperate. You like to like fight. That comes with the learning progress, It too, comes man. with all the learning progress, the, the first fights. All learning. Da, 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 da. Uh, you know, when I lose, it's not even... A, like, I didn't even take it as a, a lesson. lesson. It's like a lesson. Like, a lesson. It's not, Let me ask a question. Do you think the fact that because you're saying that you lose your head and you like because you do like to fight bro the truth is you like to bang you like to fight when you don't have to you can yeah, box yeah. and you can win easy decisions but you like to knock out and you like to do you like to fight you like to bang do you think the fact that you were fighting overseas and fighting a lot of easy fights maybe affected you in the sense that like since you were running through those guys you, you got too comfortable you got too comfortable See, with the fight uno, uno, you get a little bit comfortable but I don't I don't know bro yeah now it don't matter yeah now it don't matter yeah like you get a little bit comfortable, but al final tú sabes que tú vas a llegar el momento de pelear con alguien con nivel. Right. ¿Me entiendes? Esas peleas yo las tenía que hacer usando, o sea, tratando de que no, no perder malas costumbres, no bajar la mano, o sea, hacer toda la pelea perfecta. Yeah, not para to que bang. tú veas que tú, para que tú veas cómo se ve. Right. Y ya. And you were getting those guys out of there really fast too. Sí. So sí. it's not like you you would en get verdad, rounds. No, yo no, I don't even, sí, yo, like, I don't even care about those fights. Yeah, it was just, just to build you up, build the confidence, just that, build experience. That and like, the, the thing is that those guys didn't even give you that many rounds, too, because like I said, you were getting them out of there in a round or two. <laughs> what happened with last year? You had eight fights, and you were like killing it. And what happened this year? How come you only have, you only you, you only fought once? Because well, he's not giving you fights. Now he's just that looking for he, he, you know. I mean, um, opportunity. Waiting. Mean, I lost my last are, fight, so since they didn't give me the fight, I feel too. A lot of people are avoiding you too. Yeah. A lot of people, they don't want to fight I, you I want to ask, I, I, I have a I good topic. Know. I have a little good topic for you, bro. You're going to like this one. Your last opponent, which to me, it was all you, but your last opponent. Yeah, they fucking robbed you. He, he, like, it was a close fight, but your last opponent, he got the win, right? Mm-hmm. And they gave him an opportunity for Isaac Cruz, but you had taken that fight? 
That's, no it, sé, porque it's no, not your weight class. It's not your weight it's class. It's not my weight class. Es como que ya ahí tú te estás arriesgando como You're, que estúpidamente. Right. Como que, sí, yo pienso que yo le puedo ganar a, a, a People Group. De verdad. But, But it's not your weight, though. So, so it's, it's not, I'm, I, I'll just wait till I get to the weight. Let me get my belts in 130. If he wants to come, to, to one, if he wants to come down, then ahí sí peleamos. Right. Yo, ¿Me entiendes? Right, yo right. peleo con él, cabrón. Claro. De verdad, yo no, peleo no, con no. él. No, no, no. You're for anybody. Y, y le gano. Te lo juro, le, le gano. ¿Me entiendes? Like, I really believe He just it. comes forward. You're boxing at Cuba. Tú juegas con él. Yo, sí, yo no, no, the thing, the thing yo with, tengo un timing muy demasiado. Bien, not only that, Pitbull Cruz is one dimensional. Just comes he, forward. He has one fight and one fight only. If you can take those tools away from him, like That's you it. like to say, no, adapt. No, pero también él, él, he él, hard. él es tricky también. Yeah, yeah. Porque él baja y sube para arriba como que... Yeah, no, tricky. he switches levels. Tú tienes que, uh -huh. tú tienes que usar toda la habilidad que tú tengas con yeah, él. Las piernas, yeah, movimiento, finta, defensa, todo para que, para que tú puedas time him. And you gotta be in shape. And you gotta be in shape too. <laughs> ¿Me entiendes? Yeah, tip top shape. But you just gotta be calm and collected. When you're calm and collected and you see everything, like, you don't, you could get a little bit fatigued when you're in there fighting. Oh, 100%. 100%. Y los puños duelen porque al final los puños como he, que... And he hits hard. He does it hard. También da duro. Y los guantes chiquiticos, little gloves. So es una pelea que no, tú no puedes dejar que te dé. Right. ¿Entiendes? Es una pelea bocística. No, you have to be on your A game. Exacto. You have to be on your best game. Listen, we spoke about... Yeah, también. Yeah, no, 100%. <laughs> both of you. No, 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 <laughs> At the end of the day, Todo you, puede pasar, no. your last two fights didn't end the knockout, but I know you got heavy hands. You got mm -hmm. pop in your hands. I know because I've sparred you and I've gotten clicked by one of your punches, so I know you hit hard. Um, But we mentioned Hector Garcia. We mentioned Chris Colbert. We mentioned Tank. Who are some other big names that you sparred? Yeah, I sparred to a female when I was a kid. For to, to How like that three work? times. To Fimo Lopez. Yeah, like three times. Let me, let me see. Bro. Mira, mi, mi, uno de mis primeros guanteos fueron cuando chamaquito en Puerto Rico. Like, yo hasta ayudé una vez a Iván Calderón. Oh, me yeah. pagó 40 dólares. The little, the little. Iván Calderón <laughs> y me, yeah. me dio 40 dólares. Este, mal. I know you sparred. ¿Tú sabes quién es J.B. El Cintrón? No. Pues, no. Él es un olímpico de Puerto Rico. Yeah. ¿Me entiendes? Él me daba a mí en la cara bien, bien brutal. Yeah. Un montón you que sparred yo... Pedraza too, or you moved No, no, Pedraza, yo nunca no. aguanté con Pedraza. Este. Todo el mundo de aquí de Miami. Michelle Ali, you sparred with Michelle Ali. Michelle Ali, un montón de veces. That's some good work. La mara. Hay un montón, ¿verdad? <laughs> Pero <laughs> los top, 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 top son esos yeah, que dijiste guys, al principio. Yeah, 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 yeah. O sea, son los más que ya con. Yo aguanté con ellos, yo me... ya. ¿Me entiendes? El, el único que me falta para yo sentirme más confident. Yo contra Crawford, a ver cómo... cómo oh, <laughs> he's calling the world. This guy's insane. He's already going to I'm walk away. I'm just saying, like a little spice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. see, I know that he's... ¿Me entiendes? He's about to die no game, but I gotta see if... How... Como yo hago con él, ¿me claro. entiendes? O sea, sería brutal ver cómo... Que, que tú puedas hang in with him. He, like, he likes to spar, so... Lo que sí es, he's heavy. I'm not gonna spar yeah. him now. Like... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, I, mean, I, mean, I, I will. No, I'm I know you saying, will. like... Bro, let's take it back to your 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 first professional fight, getting that massive knockout. Yeah, bro. Bro, that was. Yeah, but that massive knockout gave me some massive like. Como que me crecí, como que como que. Ah, it fácil. got to your head a little bit. Como que exacto. Because you your next two porque, fights. Porque you después were... mi mi tercera pelea, como que mi segunda pelea también como que la gané. ¿Entiende? Y, y después viene y perdí. Y eso you me, got your lesson. Yeah, but that, that third fight that you lost, we're going to go... It wasn't really a loss, but... It wasn't a loss. I mean, it's a learn, but it's, it wasn't even a loss. Yeah, it, you won the fight. Yeah, yeah. But, but, but you also weren't doing Pero what no, we all know you do. Sí, no me vi tan, tan, tan bien. No me, no me... me... Pero cuando pasó ese knockout from your first fight, I'm pretty sure you got a whole bunch of calls from like a whole bunch of managers wanting to sign you. I'm no, assuming, no, Because no? no. that was a massive But you had top rank looking at you. Sí, yo Because estaba... that show was for top rank, right? Sí. That was the top, yeah, top you were rank fighting show. the top rank banner and stuff, so. Sí, yo estaba, yo estaba firmado con management, sí, con, y, o sea, yo estaba con, con Rivato. Right. Y él conoce a ellos, ¿me entiendes? Ahí me conectaron ahí. Right. Yeah, that was a massive shot, bro. Listen, le, le, let's go into a hot topic. You fought Thomas Matisse. It was a good fight. You got the win over Thomas Matisse. We're going to go into that fight, but I want to talk about the commentary of Tim Bradley and Andre Ward criticizing you, or not criticizing you, but not giving you the credit you deserve during the fight. They were kind of looking at, well, with one eye just for Thomas Matisse. Yeah, like Matisse. they do, like they always do to all their fighters. Like, They're biased. If, if, exactly, they're just biased totally. That's just it. Like, Towards their guy. Of course, they're, like, they're going to want this person to win. They're going to see what he's doing. They don't yeah, even yeah. see what I'm doing. It's like... Yeah, they're going to close their eyes for you. That's of their course. guy, too, and you're from the outside. You're yeah, the for me, yeah, a lot of that... 
s- dumb stuff and then like yeah and you were landing a lot of clean combinations of course. No, you know what was crazy you <laughs> were land you were land like a four piece and he would land a, a, one counter and they would be like oh, oh, oh yeah. he he would land, I would land a four piece and well, he would touch me with a little jab pass. yeah 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 cause he had a good jab that was his thing but that's what I'm saying you would land the four piece combination into the body into the head yeah. and he would land the strong jab Oh, the jab. Dude, Bro, he, land, he landed a good right hand on you, but Bro. you were like, you ate that shit. Like, what is that pop when you kept going forward? I heard him. I know yeah, but he, yeah, like, yeah, he, but he, also he, landed, he also landed a nasty right hand and then a left hook on Thomas Matisse. I left a lot. Thomas was like, he got, he got, ooh. He froze. He froze in his tracks. Of course, twice. Yeah. I remember, like, I remember the whole fight. And oh. let's talk about something about this fight. Something that we've, we've mentioned already in the past with you, but you also didn't have to fight that style, staying in the pocket the whole time. And, and, and banging because you a lot of the times you were banging in that fight you could have fought, won that fight a lot easier you could I feel I like you know. could he was, uh, he was long yeah he was so, really big like he, he had a good job he might be the biggest one and then he was a favorite so just naturally I just you wanted it I wanted it more and right. I just came like I was really hungry like but I'm you still, have I mean, I'm, I'm more hungry but I'm just saying have, like in the moment I was right oh, yeah. you have a lot of different styles to you though Yeah. what I'm saying is you could have fought that fight in many different ways yeah. and you could have gotten the win in many w- different ways because yeah. you're not a one dimensional guy mm-hmm. so nah man but that just says a lot about you the fact that you were, you, you were willing to go t- into his face be in his chest the whole time and dig out a, a, the dub yeah and I, and I boxed a little bit but yeah, yeah, yeah. it wasn't like if I would have gone to a back he would just stomp, been in the middle and we were waiting for him. He was going to see like he was more in control. Yeah. So I just had to bring it. But, you know, for the viewers and stuff that that that, that were listening to that fight, the, I feel like that fight, if you listen to the commentary, you're only going to look at what Thomas Matisse did. But if you mute that fight, if you you'll mute see, it, yeah, it's different. you'll see the punch difference on his and Thomas Matisse. Thomas Matisse had the jab. There's no doubt about it. But the combinations, the volume of punches... The fact that he connected hard was all Lewis. And, and I'm more aggressive. And it's crazy. Him. You have to mute it because, bro, all these people are saying it's Thomas Matisse, Thomas yeah, Matisse, Thomas Matisse. You, Thomas you Matisse. really see the fight again? Like, how many jabs? He, he didn't land me more than 10 jabs. Yeah, no. The, no, no, he didn't. But they were strong. That's all. They were strong yeah, jabs. Yeah, and well. him being the A side, obviously, they're right. going to hype him up more, you know? So. Yeah, and then that no, little you, right hand that he landed. You boom. won that fight. And then he, he kept coming like a little uppercut, like, just no more punches, but no, I you caught him way fight. more. Yeah, I no. saw he was talking to you a little bit after the fight. What, what was he telling you? Do you recall what he was saying? What he say? That he, he was talking to me? Yeah. When? When you guys, when he when they raised up your hand and you guys went to dab each other up, he said something to you, didn't he? No. Nah. No, he didn't tell you anything? No. Nah. Went to my locker room, we took a picture, I'll go fight, and that's it. Oh, but he showed love though. It was like no. Yeah, but then he went to social media. And he said, he said, oh yeah, well, por lo que la gente está. Yeah, I saw. And the and the commentary they were doing, and then he's like, <laughs> oh, he believed it. He believed the whole commentary, so he really thought he won. So that's he the went... thing that the commentaries they make people yeah, believe. They make like, you, yeah, they really make you because I had cousins calling me, oh hey, everybody está diciendo aquí que tú perdiste. Like se dejan llevar como que what the fuck are you watching, bro? You don't even know. You don't even know boxing. You just estás dejando llevar por el. But a bite. Oh, but they were saying this. Oh, but they were saying that. That's how <laughs> yeah, it is. no, it's yeah. true. Listen, man. Le, 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 le. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's no, how boxing is, man. And the problem is that it it comes a lot from the fans that really don't know shit about boxing. <laughs> that's true. It's like I me where this dad said, you know, you don't know shit about boxing. Much. And that's a fact. Um, Let's talk about your last fight, bro. Yeah. I want to go into that fight a little bit. Um. Uh, man, tell me what you, from your point of view, how that fight was, what you thought, what your experience was, and what you think you did good, what you think you could have done better. I want to hear from your words. Bro, empezando, empezando, cuando yo salí por ahí, <laughs> que, yo, que yo vi todo ese corrillo de gente, yo, diablo. That was your first biggest fight, right? Obviously. Claro, yo, yo, ok, y me, en verdad, el plan como que se me fue, como que me dejé, me dejé, me dejé <laughs> llevar por, por eso, anyway. Y habla, no, but you started great. Okay, I started great, pero what I feel I could have done different, I had to do the plan. Re, yo hice el plan mío al revés. Yo empecé agresivo y, y en los últimos rounds me fui a bocear. ¿Me entiendes? Yo tenía que usar mi habilidad al principio, o sea, ¿sabes? Fin, usar lo que yo sé hacer para encontrarte, para el timing, porque vuelvo te digo, mi timing está muy demasiado, pero uno se desespera, quiere ir a noquearte, ya, tú piensas que tú lo puedes noquear, pero no lo estás noqueando, dice ya lo que está pasando, y, y te desespera, y te, se te va el plan, y hace la pelea que haga en el momento, que es lo que te sale. But it's good that it happened to you now, because now you got all that jitter out the way, now you have that experience for your next fight, you already know claro, what's claro, up, you know? Claro. 
Y, y, y también lessons. yo me sentía ganando. Yeah, también yeah. yo me sentía ganando. Había unos rounds que decía, ya, este round está un poco apretado. Tengo que, tengo que apretar un poco más. Tengo que conectar un poco más. Right. Pero... Well, all the early rounds. Yeah, really... you were, yeah, you were sí, dominated. también los últimos rounds le boxeé. No me dio tan... Lo único que me dio fue el cuerpo así, ta, 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 ta. No fue que me dio tantos puños limpios. ¿Me entiendes? Yo lo hice fallar mucho. Yo sí le conecté para el tacho, el derechazo, de todo, de todo le conecté. Hasta los últimos rounds yo lo tambaleé. Ahí, pum, le metí un, un gancho por encima del ya y hizo... Yeah, yeah, yeah. I y saw. después hizo como que... No, I, and I also feel like there was multiple times that you heard him and I don't, I don't think you realized you didn't jump on it at that moment. No, porque because... en verdad no tenía, no tenía el, la energía para eso, en verdad. Because when you see it on TV... I'm sure you've rewatched the fight after. When you see it on TV, you see moments that you caught him with a left hook and his legs were gone. Yeah. But you didn't realize. I don't think you noticed that he was that hurt at the moment. I didn't notice once, pero como que era como que lo vi que recuperó rápido, pum, yeah. y dije, ah, pues, pues, y también no tenía tanta energía así. Como que había hecho un montón en el principio. Right. Ese fue el error mío. Yo soy un boxeador que yo te encuentro a lo último, mientras más los rounds pasan, y yo me envolvé pensando que lo iba a noquear. Hice la verdad que me salió. What do you think about that 92, 98 scorecard? That was a disaster. Una, una mierda. That was, that was bad, bro. Una mierda. Todo eso fue una mierda. That was en bad. En verdad, no. Yo, para, un, para yo ganar, yo tenía que noquearlo y ya. Yeah. Si no, no ganaba nunca. Yeah, that, that fight was tailor-made for him. It wasn't really... Oh, ganarle tan amplio que, que right. no había manera. Yeah, y no fue tan amplio. No fue tan amplio, pero como que era, like, técnicamente todo, yo me veía mucho mejor que él. Lo que obviamente él es del lado de ellos. Ellos, right. van, a que, ellos van a querer darle la pelea a él. Yeah, he's the ace ellos the van ace a querer que él gane, pero la próxima va a ser con, con Isaac. Sube de peso, te vamos a pagar mucho más. Right. Pan, 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 pan. Claro que la va a coger. El tipo quiere chao. He needs it. Él, él lo necesita. Le, le regalaron la pelea. Con, porque en verdad yo me vi mucho mejor. Like, no, obviamente. Yeah, yeah. Pero eh, para ellos lo ven así. Él ya tiene 31 años. Eh. Yeah, he was older. Yeah. So, no le pueden dar un loss en his record. To me. Ya su carrera va para el piso. Yeah, Uf. The, the, the over. Y yo no lucí tan espectacular tampoco. He wasn't. No, yo y ni yo tampoco lucí tan espectacular. No, I think in the first he, half. In the you first did. half, you looked amazing, bro. I think you looked spectacular. Fucking beautiful jab. Da, 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 yeah. But then Pero he's... después me fui a. Me... Yeah, but aside from the jabs, you were countering a lot too. You were countering. I, I was trying to counter him. You were, it, it, uh, the first half was pretty fucking beautiful in my opinion. Y como ya la estaba en el ring con un montón de. de... De que fueron campeones del mundo, como que pues, a los últimos rounds él supo como que... Yeah, how to put eh, the pressure. Exacto. Supo cómo poner presión y pues... pues la I mean, he had a lot way more, Pero, way no, more experience than you. Sí. En, in the es, pro game. Sí. 98, 92, como que... Yeah, that, that, was, was, that was a slap in the face. Ah, yo dije, ah, gané. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Porque I thought me, that was for you. Me too. I was, I was like, what the... F I was like, I told him, yo, what the fuck, that's crazy. ¿Cómo que? That, that, was, that was bad. Y tú ves a los de atrás ahí riéndose los del poder. Ay, mire, brother. Oh, you saw that? You saw that with your eyes? They were just there, like, oh, laughing about it. Claro, como que, claro que. Ellos ni sabían que habían ganado. Sí. Cuando él ganó, <laughs> el tipo se tiró al piso ahí. Yeah. Entienden yeah. lo que nunca hacía cuando ganaba con los campeones del mundo. Normal. Right. right. So, what experience did you take from this fight? Bro, just be disciplined with the, with the, with the plan. And when you, when you know what you got, you gotta be disciplined, calm and collected. Right. Just that. And you just gotta make, you gotta maintain that in your, in your mind. Bro, look, you it to and me. it's hard though because when you see the crowd, you know, right. for the first time, it, when you're yeah. in, there's a whole different story. A lot see, of people see. don't know that. Oh, to it's me, hard. to me, as far as pure talents goes, I I think you're probably one of the best talents I've ever seen in person. Um, but with that being said, I feel like man, you don't got nothing to prove anymore. I think mm. we, I think everybody knows what you got. I I, I don't want to see you bad anymore. Now I want to see you use your boxing. Use your abilities. boxing IQ, bro. Yeah, you're you know, beautiful right. jabs. That, that you have. And you sometimes neglect because you like to bang, you like to fight, you like to show that you are, you know, who you are. But I don't feel like you got nothing to prove. I feel like, I feel like now it's time to get a world title. Yeah. You know what I mean? Box. If, it's, if people think it's a boring fight, fuck them. Who gives a shit? But you know what you got. And if you smoke blood, you already know how to, you know you're a shark, you know how to take them out. Mm -hmm. But I feel like, man, with the team that you got, that they're, they're, they're taking you to a route of box, box, box. I think you just got to stick to the game plan, box. Make it a boring fight if it's, that's what they want to call it, but man, do you nah, think? Nah, just simplemente vocear y encontrarlo al principio, como que primero encontrarlo, primero break him down. Right. ¿Me entiendes? No yeah. te dejes dar, usa tu ya. Como, yeah, don't, yes, exactly. Como que, y después, <laughs> right. yo vengo con lo que yo vengo. Right. If, if si se va, he goes, and if not, si who no cares? Si no se va, pues normal, gotta, va a salir con you. ojo hinchado, va a salir con <laughs> esto todo cortado, va a salir nariz, ¿me entiendes? 
Listen, bro. Uh, but we, we spoke about what you want next. You would like a fight with Oscar Valdez. Claro, well, si me lo ofrecieron, yo la course. cogí. Like, well, do, you, do you know who Ray Vargas is, right? He's moving up. Ray Vargas. Yeah, he's a tall, ah, sí, sí. Yo sé también es buen, es buen peleador. He's fighting bo- for the WBC belt. I know, I know. With Oshak y Foster. I know, I know. Él es, él es campeón del mundo en 26. Yeah, claro que 26. cuando él suba, le van a dar la, la oportunidad de una. Of course. ¿Entiendes? But, But that, I feel like you're right there, though, dog. You're literally almost sí, right claro, there. Sí, claro, claro, well, claro. Well, no, you are. Claro, you are. claro. You're one win away. You got you to get a good dub. Uh-huh. I got to get a good dub, and that's it. Do you think you fight before the year ends? I don't know. That's 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 that's. Are you ready um, for like a December show? That's showdown? the bad news for me. Are you ready if if for December if they offer you something for December? No 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 no. I'll be ready for 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 soon. When like, you say a, when you say bad news, what do you mean with that? Like the bad news, I I don't know if I'm gonna fight this year or or, or coming next year. But are you ready right now though? They sí, call, sí, you're ready sí. right now. Sí sí. Nada más tengo que bajar de peso. Y obviamente tengo que entrenar porque I'm not like in really training camp. Well, I'm not doing the trainings like... But you're, still, but you're still active. Yeah, right? I'm you still training, like... sparring, like, siendo lo más pucho, cuica, cosas así, puro, lo condición, pero no es la misma intensidad que cuando estás en camp, no es lo mismo. Listen, I know, I know that you can't really say the things that are not done yet, so you, you, don't have uh-huh. to, you don't have to say it if you don't want to, but what are some big plans or some possible fights that are coming your way? Sí, van a, vienen, ya me han ofrecido buena pelea, pelea dura. Estoy esperando que la cuan y ya, ¿me entiendes? Ya, once, ya. Once, once they sign, entonces puedes decir Sí, ya, es. o, o si saque como estos Frank que no le gustan que digan primero que ellos, cosas así, pero... Right. Yeah, just waiting for them. Well, the good thing is that you're getting offers and you're, you're you know, you're, sí. it's there. Sí, y bueno, y son buen offers. Like, right. It's no, not, no, 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 Yeah, it's just about accepting them saying, it. yeah, accepting, like, all right, let's get it. ¿Me entiendes? Yo estoy you, número 38 en el mundo. Yo no quiero pegar con nadie que esté 50 ni para allá arriba. Yo quiero pegar con lo que estén 20 top, para abajo. Top, top 15, top 15. ¿Me entiendes? O, o 15 para abajo, como sea. Yeah, no, I mean, you're ready for it. I mean, you've proved, you've proven that you can hang with the top guys, so there's no doubt that. No, y ahora mismo, like, I just gotta follow the plan, you know, basic discipline, that's it. Stick with the game plan, baby. Yeah, después que yo haga eso, yeah. Bro, yeah, I want to ask you, why do they call you Chucho? Where'd you get that name from? That's a good question. It's a primo de mi de mi papá que es primo mío, casi primo hermano de mi papá. Y desde que nací, pues me puse no Chucho, Chuchito, Chuchito. Los Chuchos que vienen a de ti, that's a good name for you. I mean, it's, I, mean, I don't think I don't think that's the reason why it's used though. No, no, <laughs> oh, so Chucho why, that's es como nickname. es como un nickname que me yeah, pusieron de familia. Chucho, you stuck with it. Chuchito, ah, y me quedé con él porque me, me llamaban Chucho. I gotta ask you this question. So you're Puerto Rican and Colombian. Uh-huh. What food do you like better, Puerto Rican food or, <laughs> or the Colombian food? Hey, be careful! Puerto be Rican, careful! Puerto Rican. Oh, 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 oh shit. really? Yeah. Oh. Damn, I, I I gotta keep it a buck. I like Colombian food more. Oh. I gotta keep it a buck. Those bands, they have bicep are fire, bro. I, nah, but Puerto Rican food is good too. I mean, it's like yeah. the Cuban, same with the Dominican. I've been in Puerto less. Rico. I've eaten all their food. Es que a lo mejor es porque yo yo estoy acostumbrado nada más a comer. Yeah, you were raised a certain way. Yo me yo me crié allá, so it's different. I'm gonna ask you also this. Cotto or Tito Trinidad? What do you like better? I choke. I'm bella. It's hard. <laughs> you being Puerto Rican, oh, then Bo being for who do you like? like que... I get to go here. Si, el más excitement que me daba a mí era Trinidad, obviamente, porque yeah. él, él se quedaba ahí. Y t- yeah. t- no, pero skill-wise, técnicamente, inteligentemente, papi, Cotto. Cotto. Cotto tenía una, ¿me entiendes? Una habilidad que me gustaba. Y, y como metía el gancho al cuerpo y cosas así. Yeah, he had one of the be- le- best left hooks in the game. How about these? These are like young up and coming fighters. Xanders or Berlanga? Xander. Xander. De una babi. Eso de ti. That's the Leo. I said, no, but yeah, you never know. Just ¿Tú sabes, that's, that's ¿tú sabes cómo fue la primera vez que yo conocí a Xander? Okay. <laughs> Mi papá tenía un tattoo shop en frente de la Interamericana en, en Miami, en Cana. Oh, en Puerto Rico. En Puerto Rico. <risa> cuando vivía cuando mi papá estaba allá conmigo. Y mi papá conocía al papá, al papá de él. ¿Me entiendes? Mm. Y, ahí, y ahí fue Sander, chamaquito. Yeah, but he was, así, yeah, yeah. y yo también era así. ¿Sabes cuántas pelas tenía ahí? Ochenta y pico. Sander, y, y yo nada más tenía como diez, quince. Y yo, diablo, y este chamaquito, ¿cuántas? Y ya, yo ya también sentí pendejo. Y yo dije, ah, bro, pero. De, 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 de ochenta y pico I... pelas y tan chamaquito, ah, yo yeah. soy un pendejo. <laughs> All the fights that I, that I went to, 
Xander was always there. there. Always. There was not one fight that I went to that he wasn't there. He was always getting done. Yeah, here, here. Yeah, 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 yeah. Definitely. Every every show I went to, every tournament I went to, Xander was there. That was crazy, man. So who's your favorite? Who's your all time favorite Puerto Rican fighter? <laughs> He's putting you on the spot. Vale, vale, no, vale. Para que la gente sepa what you got. Which, which, which we know, like. we know, we know. Zander Zayas is Miguel Cotto. We know For that. Sure, yeah. Who's Luis Melendez? I've I, I've heard you in your old interview say that you're. Yo tengo dos. Yeah. Me yeah, we have mucho. We have Refredo. Refredo That's Gómez Bazuca. That's your favorite. Sí, porque yo cuando chamaquito yo veía muchos documentales de él en YouTube. Y me inspiraba un montón, como que how he came out, todo eso. Y me, actually, el tipo peleado, ¿me entiendes? He lost to, um, El Salvador, mexicano, right? el Salvador, Salvador, Salvador ¿me entiendes? Yeah. Y, y Trinidad trajo, un, eso estuvo brutal. El Simon que trajo a Puerto Rico, yeah, that, yeah. la gente como lo quería. Like, ¿Quién no quiere eso? ¿Me entiendes? Y más yo que soy de ahí, que yo, mi raza, Amor como video, que, esos son sus raíces. ¿Me entiendes? Sí, esos dos. Why'd you start boxing? Ah, ya trae también macho camacho. Oh, he's he's a legend too, man. Entiende? Yeah. He brought a lot of style to the fight game. Yeah. Sí, como que yeah. Flash. He was flashy. Flashy. Yeah. yeah. He was entertaining. He was an entertainer. Why'd you start boxing? Obviously, I know your family had the history, but did you like boxing from the beginning or you like baseball, for instance? Nah, porque yo siempre tenía que estar defensa. Como te dije, que a mí me, me jodía mucho en la escuela aquí. So you played boxing? Bullying. Yeah, of course. Mi, mi papá me llevó para el, mi tío. Do you like anything else besides boxing or simply la, la faja? Yo, a baloncesto. Oh, yeah? Sí, but cuando yo, when I went to PR... They're really good at basketball, I too. was playing basketball and boxing at the same time. I would get in trouble in school, and then the, the gym that I was at first would throw me out, and I would just keep playing ball. Until one day <laughs> I went back, I started back con los profesionales. Right. Y vos, si, si no fuera por él, yo no sé dónde tú eras, en verdad, porque yo estaba en un gimnasio que... Era de, una, de, de alguien, pero el que, me entrenaba, el que estaba pendiente a mí era Tito Bossing. Él, 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 él era entrenador de los profesionales. So yo crecí viendo... ¿Tienes still have contact with him or no? Sí, yo lo tengo en las redes sociales. Okay. Este, yo crecí viendo eso como los profesionales se preparaban. Se levantaban a las 4 o 3 de la mañana a correr. ¿sabes? Se acuartelaban. Y a mí me gustaba todo eso. Yo, yo desde los 14 años, 13 años, yo me levanto a las 4 de la mañana. Yo me levantaba todos los días a las 4 de la mañana a correr con ellos. At what age? At 14? 14, 13. Bro, I wake up at freaking 3, 4 in the morning to go run. ¿Me entiendes? Lo cosa que a veces ni hago ahora. Prefiero correr en la noche. ¿Me entiendes? Y. So I, I saw that coming up. Right. Y, y el Tito Bossi me llevó para donde Millo. Que está otro gym donde tenía muchos amateurs. Y ahí fue donde me quedé. Where do you like training Porque better? At, at what age did you come to the States again? You were like 16, right? 16? When I came, I knew you guys. Yeah. Yeah, when you first came. Yeah, like 16, 16. but I was coming just for vacation. Oh. Okay. You know, like, okay. When did you like move 100% that you were living here? I was like 19. Oh, wow. Damn, I yeah. didn't know that. Yeah. You like training better over there, like the climate from over there over here. I mean, they're kind of similar. I train it here, for me, it's much better. At least with what I'm doing now, I think so. I saw an interview with Tito Trinidad. He's saying that he likes Puerto Rico because there's a lot of hills that you can sí, run. Yeah, that's what I like But you, but you can find that here too if you go mi, to another state. My destiny brought me here, brother. Yeah. Uh -huh. You understand? You're about to be a champion soon, man. Yeah, yeah, but but the doors but are but almost right there. You just got to break them down. Yeah, you're, you're actually knocking on the door. It's yeah. all it's it's just now it's all a matter of a fact about what you do on your next fight. Claro. You know? Entonces, your next fight or your next two fights. It's a, it's a, yeah, that's my shot. Because I'm, you're already gonna get a I'm, big I'm fight. Okay. I'm, 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 no, you're I'm, ready. I'm, 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 I'm ready. Yeah. Yo me, yo me voy a con el canto you ain't ducking and dodging nobody. Nah. Whoever it is can get it. Sí. <laughs> a lot of fighters don't really know because you know obviously you're still 24, you're still young in your uh -huh. career. But where, when do you see yourself retiring from the sport? Yo me quiero retirar por lo menos antes de los 35, 33, por ahí. Oh, That's really? Okay. Sí, claro. How many fight, pro fights do you think you can get from here to 35? I don't know, 40 something. 40 something. Puede ser. I don't know. You're at 130 now, so you can see yourself obviously 135, 140, sí, 130, yeah, 40, 147. 47. Yeah. Damn. Yo creo que hasta ahí. Depende del dinero. Sí. Bueno, <laughs> depende donde yo esté también. Eh, todo depende, todo depende. Since we're on 147 right now, there's a big fight to pull that's going to be made. Yeah. Crawford. You're going to do Spence. this. You're going to do I, this I with Lewis? I have to. I have to. Bro, he's going to. He's. Bro. I know he's going to say, but I just fácil, have to. Bro. Well, no. ¿Cómo, cómo que fácil? Yeah. Who, who do you want? Who do you think wins? Oh, Crawford. Oof. I don't. Nah, easy, baby. Not easy tampoco. Easy. 
Nah, nah, the, you're a bar, you know what's up. Nah, no, I no, I no, 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 Bro, he's gonna stop him late. Es que no creo que, yo no creo que Spence tiene esa misma pierna que, que, que Crawford. No, es que Crawford tiene... Un... Spence is special. He's special. Es bien, he siempre está, está, está. Very special. technical. Y es fuerte, pero ha hecho es que Spence es otra cosa. Crawford. Yeah, I'm getting eh, hot. Eh, Let's change the conversation, dog. I'm getting hot already, dog. Who are your top three, though? Your top three fighters right now. You can't pick yourself, huh? I know uh, you're weird, but three. The any weight? Any weight. Your top three. I really want to see this. At the uh, Crawford, uh, El Habon and Inoa. Oh, okay, damn. Oh, and yeah. Javante, bro. Inoa, he's he's number two right now in the pound for pound list. I'm, I'm, I'll put Javante second and Inoa third. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I like Inoa, man, because he's gone through th three weight division and he's wiped everybody out man i really like that guy he's yeah, uh, yeah. And, and the boxing world doesn't the regular fans don't they know who the heck he is yeah. but he deserves that praise the problem is he doesn't speak english and stuff so but that guy can fight he can if you look at his fights man he's one of the best right now mm -hmm. so i agree i have him up there in my pound for pound list too yeah he's one of the best Let, let's go into your your team my your team my team what used to be my team your 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 head coach Michael Robles yeah. and Reniela Ponte, bro, has the, has been the vibe, the dynamic with that team now. Bro, brutal. No sé ni cómo explicarlo. En verdad, si no fuera por ella, yo no estuviese aquí. You guys have a good. Sí, claro. De una, like brutal. The amateurs, yeah, yeah, it's been they years. They were the ones that really bring me up here. La verdad, por más talento que yo tenga ni nada, pero si tú no tienes un equipo correcto que esté pendiente de las cosas que tiene que estar pendiente en el entrenamiento y cosas así, no, no entiendes, no, no es yeah. lo mismo. No, okay. uh, uh, everybody has to be in the same, in the same boat. Yeah. You know? Everybody has to be together. That's the way it grows. Y yo conozco al chino, el de, yo cuando llegué aquí, mi first party fue contra, my first party was with um, Frank. Oh. So I went to Chino's gym. I, yeah. ¿Entiendes? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, Frank González, so that's Frank. Frank González, yeah, so. Frank. Frank is a warrior. He keeps coming forward. He comes sí. Frank Frank gives one of the best sparring sessions ever. Sí. He's tough as nails, man. Yeah, yeah. The kid comes forward and throws punches and punches and it's nonstop. Yeah, bro. So when you're not training, what do you do? What What are your hobbies outside of boxing? I know boxing is your bro, life. Is I, I just be my what's going on there, family. You know, I chill with your my family, boys. Man. I chill with my boys normally. I play ball and that's it. Just chilling. Just You're chilling, family, man. Yeah, just chilling. That's good. Stay out of trouble. A veces me tiro a mí. Yo a veces yo me entiendo. Voy para un lugar, un club, algo así. Luis, you can't live here, me entiendo. Of course, no, always. You have a baby now, right? No, tengo. Oh, that's right. You're like me. Yeah, tengo. Yeah, two. Boy and a girl. Boy and a girl. You want a third one, or you're out of it? No. Yeah, that's it. I'm done. No. I'm done, bro. Hasta que me haga millonario. I'm done. No, 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 no. I'm on my way to send millionaire. I don't want no more. I'm done. I'm Do you want your boy to follow your footsteps and become a fighter like you, or you want something better for him? No, my boy, no, me hijo, no. You don't want to be no, a fighter? No, porque el, 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 el nene autismo, me entiende, que yo no lo meto a bocear, me lo meto a otra cosa, a grappling, a... Pero a, si él quiere, papi, I want a box, please, please, and you still kind of, like, try to know. distract him out of it, or...? Judo me gusta más para él. Judo. Porque right. él, no, no me gusta, no. Para, prefiero, prefiero la nena que bocea. <laughs> bro, right? Yeah, okay. Bro. Well, SRC. What are their names? Uh, Kaden and Esme. Okay. Esme. Shout out to them. Shout out to them. Yeah. yeah Kaden and Esme. Y... That's what keeps you motivated, right? But obviously, my daughter doesn't want to boss her. If she wants, then yeah. Right. I prefer to do more things as a girl. And female boxing is growing too. It is. Yeah, so yeah. by the time that she's older, female boxing is probably. And she sees me, I throw a punch in the house. She sees me. Bro, I don't know. She wants to be married. Yeah, me too. I'm the same way. I, I I be training and stuff. My daughter's like, she starts doing it and stuff. Yeah. How, how old is she? Este, apa un año, en diciembre. Okay, so I have I have a two two and a half, and I have a, almost one as well. In, yo, in December. Eh, eh, yo estoy igual que yo. Mi uh, hijo mi hijo ya cumple tres años ya el mes que viene. Oh no, mine turns three in January, but yeah. my my other one turns one in November, and yours is in December. That's, that's funny, that's bro. That's crazy. Well, no, that's talking crazy. about your family, you have two kids now. You know the big checks are coming soon. <laughs> so I had to ask you this question. But it's like this guy likes the, uh, he loves to ask this question. Yeah, because you know you're coming up, and you're gonna get that opportunity is gonna come. So what do you do when you get your first million dollar check? My first million dollar check. Yeah. <laughs> you got two daughters. You have a boy and a son. You know Brother, your girl, your family. Back, uh, shit. Oh, hey, man. You didn't even know what to yeah, do, I, huh? I can't invertir. Igualar y... 
y pensar en ellos primero, porque a veces yo, yo soy un bruto con el dinero. Todavía yo estoy aprendiendo, ¿me entiendes? Todavía estoy aprendiendo. Porque yo, yo, yo he cogido cheques buenos y, 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 y yo sé, y yo lo, y I've run through them. You feel me? Like, it's just oh, still learning, bro. Do you want to, like, when you get that, you know, that, that type of money, do you want to, like, build something in Puerto Rico? Yeah, yeah, I want to do, I want to I wanna have, like, properties, cosas así, negocio, lo que sea, ¿me entiendes? When you retire, though, do you see yourself re retiring here or going back to, to your island, Puerto Rico? No sé. No sé, no sé, de verdad no te puedo decir. Lo que venga, lo que venga. He got to get the money first. When he gets the money, then he gets the power. When he gets the power, then he figures out what you want to be. Donde yo quisiera estar, pues obviamente en Puerto Rico. Like, retire, I would love, pero no, nunca sabe. Nunca sabe, ya. You can't even go to Medellín. You never know Medellín. I mean, Medellín, Colombia. If I'm not mistaken, voy a tener propiedad If I'm not mistaken, for tax purposes, it's better to live in Puerto Rico than over here. Tacho. But Colombia's nice too. Well, before you go, champ, it was, you know, we gotta get this on. <laughs> we gotta get this on, you know, in the live, man. You gotta sign this up, you know. So when you become a champion, we say, yeah, man, we have, we have Chucho's signature here. Yo te había traído algo ustedes, pero ya me di cuenta que esto no es tu estudio. Oh, uh, so no. So como que... Yo traje algo brutal, man. No, no, bro. Tú quieras, no tú quieras. Tú eres el campeón. If you brought it, I want it. If you brought it, I want it anyway, bro. Yeah, I want to see it now. Might as well, right? What the heck, bro? And just put the date right here. Put it, the date. Today's what the sixth. The no, what? what's today's date? The tenth. What? The date. Uh, today is the ninth. Of no way. Oh, damn. Oh. For me? Nah, we'll no, we'll share it together. This doesn't matter. This shit is mine. One I'm, not week, giving, I get one week. I'm not giving you shit. Bueno, I got you. <laughs> your, next, look, your next fight, give me your gloves. No. <laughs> no way, Louis Dan. That's lit, brother. Sure, I appreciate sure, sure. that. Yeah, 100%. Yeah, 100%. Entiende, I appreciate entiende. that, bro. Big time, bro. That, like, and you're the first person I give us something, you too. So. Yo el primero. <laughs> hey, look at this. Yeah, man, that's Fresh. lit as shit, bro. Hey, and those are some badass shorts. Yeah, it's a nice. Yeah, baby. Look, they have three behind. They're a little expensive. Oh, no, but oh, hey, sign it, though. Yes, yes, I'm going, but what do I put here? What's today's date? The 9th. 10-9. 10-9. Hey, man, that's lit, bro. That's love, man. For real, that's love. That's love, man. Actually, I think, I think, I think, I think, I think, I That's love, bro. Nah, that's love for real, man. That's badass. Actually, I, I take it back. Your next fight, let me get your shorts instead. Because damn, no, those shorts <laughs> yeah, are beautiful, yeah, man. Yeah, I'm keeping these. Shit. I ain't giving you this shit. I'm about to knock you out right quick. Yeah, and take yeah, this yeah, shit, okay. dog. <laughs> Be careful, dog. Be careful. I'm ready too, dog. <laughs> nah, these are nice. These are nice. Yeah, these are badass, man. Look at that signature right here. Oh, Look at that signature. Hey, Damn, listen. Before we wrap it up, doctor. <laughs> Luis, Luis, you got Colombia and you got Puerto Rico on your back. Claro. Look, those are two countries that are going to support you growing, bro. Say something to the camera real quick, man, because I know that uh, you should. Ah, vera, pues, toda mi gente de Colombia y toda mi gente, toda mi raza de, de Puerto Rico, especialmente mi familia, lo, ¿me entiendes? Lo amo a todos, lo represento a todos, ¿me entiendes? Mi corazón obligado. <laughs> y yo soy un guerrero para ellos, pa, ¿me entiendes? La, la familia, yo, ¿me entiendes? Y si no fuese por el apoyo de ellos, yo no tuviese la motivación que uno tiene, ¿me entiendes? Eso, that first part. Si no tienes familia que te que, que te so de so push you. Y push, no, no, no es lo mismo. So, si no, gracias a toda mi familia en Puerto Rico, to mi, toda la familia de mi, de mi mamá colombiana, que siempre me apoyan, ¿me entiendes? Like, you know, so, so, gracias a todos, yo los amo. Y ya mismo van a tener campeón del mundo, ¿me entiendes? Ya mismo la, la, hay muchas estrellas de Puerto Rico, ¿me entiendes? Muchos chamaquitos buenos, pero yo sé que yo voy a ser un ídolo, ¿me entiendes? Porque yo simplemente lo sé, so, a toda mi gente... Lo amo un montón. O sea, aquí estoy, voy a, a, a representar a Bayamón hasta lo último y vamos a romper, vamos a quedar con todo el canto y voy a ser campeón del mundo ya mismo. entiende Colombia y Puerto Rico van a tener un campeón del mundo. 100%. Ya mismo. I feel it, man. I feel 100%. it. It's coming. It's coming soon. No, no, es que yo lo sé. ¿Entiendes? No, no, no. Todo es oportunidades. Y que me sigan apoyando. Los quiero un montón. De verdad, sigan apoyándome, sigan viéndome que todavía, todavía, todavía tengo un montón por hacer. Yeah, 100%. You're not even halfway down your career. Ni <laughs> not even halfway. <laughs> you understand? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, bro. Yeah, man, I'm, I'm super happy for you, brother. Like, Gracias. seriously, seriously. Like, you and I, like, we grew up, but we weren't really that close, bro. But now that you're here, I, know, man. I, mean, I really appreciate you, bro. I, 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 me growing up in the amateurs, too, I looked up to you, bro. I, yeah. I wasn't going to tell you that, for bro. Real? <laughs> yeah, bro. Hell we yeah, all bro. did, man. I, we even all myself. Did. I yeah, never even, bro. like, yo no lo ni lo ve, ni, ni me di cuenta me daba. 
Because yeah. we didn't train to you were training Maori and I would train with Tino and stuff. But bro, I, I looked I looked up to you growing up, bro, because you, you were you were that you were special. Yeah, you were that good. Yeah, I'm actually a year no two years older than you. But Brian, you you were the you were the top guy. It <laughs> was. You were always sí. special. We always knew you were special. You were a nana, verdad? You were a baby. Yeah, you were small. 16, 17, I was I'm 16, 16. Yeah, when we sparred, you had just got into 132. Or you were still at 23. I'm not sure, but I think you had just got into 132 because you were looking a little bigger. I was yeah. really skinny. Yeah, I got yeah. I got to ask you this question before we go cuz I know you're Puerto Rican. So when you have the title, you know, you you well, when you're going to fight for the title, you get that card to fight for the title, what Puerto Rican artist would you want to walk you out? No, you have Farruko. Todavía no, no, no. Bueno, Anuel. no he pensado en eso, pero si. It's coming though. <laughs> si yo sa si voy a sacar a alguien. Tacho. I know you're close to Farruko, right? I know you have some. No, yo no soy close con él. No, no, no conozco así. Yo, él vive cerca de donde yo me crié. Pero yo, yo estudié con sus dos hermanitos chiquitos que son gemelos. So yo, yo estudié con ellos en, en la elemental. Este. Like, bro, yo no he pensado eso porque yo ni, yo ni he pensado en sacar cantantes mi, mi, como que todavía no, no me interesa eso, esa película como que no la he pensado. Tú quieres just go straight into it a, a, a pelear. Sí, no, más porque eso es todo para las cámaras y final y todas esas cosas, ¿me entiendes? That's, no. that's for the future. For sí, the eso future. es para, exacto. Like para I said, when the ahí. money comes, the power comes, then you can really make those Sí, pero me gustaría time. obviamente todo ello, Faruco, Anuel, Ñengo. Todo, pero no, en verdad ni, ni me interesa sacarlo normal. Prefiero ser, prefiero que they look up to me. Yeah, it's true. ¿Me entiendes? I, I prefer that. Y yeah. que, que cuando, yo, cuando yo gane título y todo, que yo vaya para PR, pues que, que celebremos todo, ¿me entiendes? Eso es lo que yo prefiero. I'm glad, brother, you, you seem like you got a good head on your shoulders, brother. Claro. And I appreciate you for coming ah, out, bro. Usted, big time, bro. Usted, usted. Really big time. It was an honor, bro. It was really an honor. Yeah, You're going to be a was, champion man. soon. Yeah, it was, more. man. I want to say something in Spanish. Colombia y Puerto Rico sigan apoyando a, tu, a su campeón porque este, este muchacho de verdad que va a ser campeón en un futuro. Eh, no lo digo yo, lo dice mucha gente. Eh, campeón nacional. Y gente veces, que sabe de boxeo. Y gente que <laughs> sabe de boxeo. Como dice el papá de Mayweather, mucha gente no sabe nada uh -huh. de boxeo, pero lo que saben, saben que este está subiendo y tiene, sabes, es una, persona, es una estrella, es una estrella. Eh, gra por favor sigan apoyándolo uh, everybody that's supporting Luis Melendez man remember that name he's a big name Colombia, Puerto Rico USA man we're all on your back Luis we support Sorry. you we love you bro that's I I, I like I said you I looked up to you growing up in the amateurs you were you're, you're still up that, you're still that guy bro yeah, and I'm so. still learning it's yeah. crazy you feel me? that's awesome like, bro where I'm gonna be when I'm 30 Yeah, I don't know, bro, but I know fighting, you... fighting probably Crawford or some of those guys. <laughs> <laughs> probably I won't or, or a little bit, a little bit before. Yeah, bro, sense. but uh, yeah, man, uh, I want to say that, bro. I just wanted to say, bro, that we got a lot of love for you, bro. Yeah, and, uh, bro. You got one more You want to say something? This has been a great episode, man. Again, thank you for coming, man, and you know, giving us a little bit of your your life and everything. And I can't I wait know. to make you. I can't wait to see you become a champion, man. I know, I know. It's gonna happen 100%, soon, brother. Yeah, bro. Hey, Choo Choo, baby, it's real, baby. Yeah, bro. It's hey, real. man, everybody, man, that's been supporting. I love y'all. I appreciate y'all. Don't forget, if you haven't subscribed, click that red button and subscribe, man. Stay tuned for the next episode. Lewis, we love you, man.